we're going to start standing up today. The intention for this class right here, Janet or Janice? Janice. Janice. I'm going to remember that. Is balanced body. Feet hip width apart, lift the toes up off the yoga blanket, yoga mat, and then slowly spread them. Bring them back down and then stabilize your body. We have a beautiful breeze out here, YouTube, Facebook, so we're feeling the beautiful energy. We're in the shade, which is nice because the sun is a little bit too warm this time of year. We're holding our hands and our thumbs are pressing into the sternum just to stabilize our bodies. We're dropping our shoulders away from the ears and relaxing our elbows to the rib cage. But we're engaging our Uddiyana Bandha, our belly button area, a little bit. So when we press the hips forward, we feel that engagement in the thighs. And now go ahead and relax. There we go. Five rites of rejuvenation. Slowly, we're going to spread our arms wide. And we're going to go clockwise. I'm going to go opposite direction, so Savannah's going to do as I do, not as I say. Open the arms up wide. Breathe in, stretching the sternum. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly going in a circle. clockwise. And the reason we're going slowly is because if we go too fast then we get a little bit dizzy. So we're just taking our time, going slowly, turning around and around. And metaphorically spread the fingers wide and breathe in the energy. So our energy bubble is our hands and our feet spread out wide. That's how far our energy bubble is. And when we breathe in and we breathe out, we're breathing positive energy, cleansing our spirit, cleansing our minds, cleansing our body. Two more times, we're gonna go around. Bringing a smile to the face and just express that expression on our face opens up the tight lateral and pterygoid wing muscles in our jaw. So we're going to stop when we come around, stop in the middle, holding our arms out, spreading our shoulder, our arms wide and bringing our shoulder blades together. Inhale one more time and then exhale, cup the hands. Bring one hand over the heart, one hand over the solar plex. Once again, dropping the elbows, relaxing the shoulders. Slightly the chin falls into the chest, Janice. Savannah, we feel that extra release on the base of the skull. Namaste. I honor the peace in you as well as the peace of myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us here today on this beautiful, beautiful evening. When we inhale, open up the arms again, up past the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, slight back bend here, chin up, inviting the energy in. When we exhale, bow forward, and as we bow forward, we're going to get rid of that cranky back. But we're going to hold our hands to our thighs right here because we're going to come down slow. Allow the energy, allow the elbows to crease and bend. Walk the hands down to the shins. Straighten out the elbows in flat back. Breathe in belly is out and when you exhale slowly bend the elbows again softening the knees so the knees are slightly bent and you're folding forward over those thighs over those knees a little bit more feeling that beautiful energy flow inside the body inhale 
exhale hands come down to the surface we're preparing for our plank pose spread the fingers wide then walk the feet back into our plank pose knees down or knees up you decide breathe in breathe out two more breaths inhale and this time reach the crown of the head away from you so you're stretching and straightening out the cervical spine the base of the skull exhale relax slow inhale reach exhale knees come down first then chest comes down dog we're coming body coming to up dog lift the chin squeeze the butt cheeks in to support the lower back inhale then exhale drop the knees and come into child's pose bringing the sit bones back towards the heels bringing the forehead to the yoga blanket we can use a pillow if we need to for not that far down relaxing the arms Relaxing the elbows, feeling that relief in the body. Breathing in, let's take a moment here to really discover the breath. Close the eyes. Inhale through the nose with the mouth closed, Janice. And then slowly exhale, Savannah, feeling the body drop and release and let go now we're going to hold that breath on the next inhale breathing in breathing in breathing in hold the breath feel the tightness in the body feel the tension it's good to notice that and when you exhale let it go slowly Allow your body to drop deeper and deeper until at the bottom of the breath, we're going to bring belly button to spine, breathe out all the air and hold it for a count of three. Ready? Breathe out all the air, squeeze the belly button to spine. Relax. Breathing in. One two three feel the expansion in the body hold the breath one two three exhale three two one feel the lower lumbar relax feel the knees open up and anytime the knees get too tight youtube facebook tuck the toes under to alleviate any pressure or come up to the elbows. We're only here for a moment more to feel this relaxation in the body. Slowly coming up and inhaling at the same time, we're going to come to tabletop. Tuck the toes under, prepare it for our camel pose. Tucking the toes under, bringing the hands to the hips. And as we bring the hands to the hips, the elbow are gonna come together behind us. The chest is gonna come up and the chin's gonna come up. Now, anytime our body gets all wobbly, we can look down at the ground. We can find that focal point to look down because sometimes when we look up, it's too much. Feel that stretch in the quadriceps. Feel that stretch in the chest. Inhale. And now exhale. Relax the shoulders. Relax the elbows. We're going to do that for two more breaths. Breathe in. Breaths forward. Elbows back. Chest up. Chin down or up. And then exhale. Relax. Ooh. 
and anytime our knees get cranky we can always put a pillow underneath our knees one more time elbows come back together and then exhale slowly come back to tabletop coming back to tabletop taking the right hip dropping it to the surface and then slowly coming up and almost dropping the left hip. And when we do this, this nice stretch in the thighs is really probably sit down a lot all day at our desk. And you don't realize how tight our hips get. And anytime our wrists have a lot of weight on it and they get cranky. Walking the We're only here for two more times on each side. And when we go at our own pace in, we're breathing out, just feeling that relaxation, dropping, inhaling, coming up, and then exhaling down the fingers into the yoga blanket spread the fingers wide. this alleviates pressure on the wrist this is going to prepare us for our down dog we only have three breaths in down dog breathe in pop up push back against so we're, our heels on our feet are about a half an inch above the surface the heels of our hands are pressing us backwards we're going to hold this tension inhaling and exhaling for three breaths and each time we exhale, we're pushing back a little bit more to really feel that stretch and opening in the back of our legs. Any time that we need to feel that we need to put a soft knee into it, bending the knees a little bit, you get a deeper stretch in the Achilles heel. Anytime we need to come down and out of a yoga pose, I invite you to do that. This is your yoga. Breathe in with me. Breathe out. Walking the feet to the hands. Fingertips are going to come over onto the outside of the right foot. This might put a tweak in the knee, so anybody who feels a tweak in the knee and doesn't like that, come back to center. We're just going to stretch our hips with our head coming down here for two breaths. And then walk over to the other side. Fingertips on the outside of the left foot. Put a nice little bend in the knees. Drop the chin. Let the head dangle. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, nice and slow. We love taking our time and really engaging that breath to heal the inside of our body. Walking the fingertips back to center. Using our hips to come up, vertebra by vertebra, pressing our hips forward. Our arms are still dangling. And the hands are down by the side, preparing for our mountain pose. Facing the palms forward, finding a focal point that's not moving in front of us. Starting in our first very challenging warrior three pose the warrior three is challenging for a lot of us but we have our chair with us so youtube facebook i invite you to have your chair you do not have to use your chair if you feel you're more advanced but i'm going to use the chair and share that with you the right foot is going to come forward the chair is on the right side i have my right hand on the chair i'm bending the right knee the left foot is backwards. I'm going to bring my body forward, bending at the waist, only slightly because I want to build that strength in my right thigh to lift my left foot back. We're going to hold this pose without lifting the left arm for just a moment and then come back down. Get used to that pose. 
Good to see you, sweetie. We're doing challenging balancing poses, baby step at a time, okay? Remind me of your name again? Ah, oh, Osley, wonderful to see you again, sweetheart. I hardly noticed you with clothes on. <laughs> she came in a bathing suit last night. She looks so sexy. Yes. Oh, Osley, it's, it's wonderful to have you, babe. Yeah. Okay. So right foot forward, Osley. You can use your, um, your chair if you want to in the balancing pose. You do not need to. We're just showing it with the chair. Put your weight on your right side, bend your right knee. Lift up the back foot about 10 inches above the surface without lifting the right arm. We're going to warrior three, but we're doing baby steps. Feel the balance. If you have the chair and you wanna let go of the chair, just feel how you're balanced in that. I'm looking at my big toe for balance. You can look at something in front of you. And then now let's come back out of it. Now we're standing on both legs where they're still in a scissor form. Now we're going to try a little bit deeper than that. Bending at the waist, lift up that back leg, bend the right knee all the way. Bring that right arm forward or both arms forward. Sometimes a little bit challenging with that. You can do warrior three with your arms back as well so you decide which warrior three you want tuck your left toes towards the left knee bend your right knee or straighten your right knee and now we're slowly going to come out of it we're going to come up again two more times longer the last time find the focal point sometimes it's easier watch where your um yeah, make sure there's no ants, honey. I don't want you to get ants on you. There you go, sister. Yeah. All right. Right foot forward. Bend right knee. Slowly come up on the balls of the left foot. Bend at the waist first, and then lift up the left leg. And when you lift up the left leg a little bit more, bend at the waist a little bit more. Keep that nice bent in the right leg. If you want to straighten it up, go ahead if you have stronger knees. Both arms forward or both arms back. You decide. You've got that chair, YouTube, Facebook beside you or not. You can use one arm forward or one arm back. Feel the strength building in your body in this pose. Slowly come back. And we're going to shake that out. We're going to do that one more time on this side. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Put some chi energy into it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Coming up for the full warrior three. Arms back or arms forward, you decide. You can do it, Janice. Okay. Osley. Lean on that right foot. Lift up the back foot, bending at the waist simultaneously. I'm gonna have my arms back this time. You want to essentially get that back leg up and feel that happy medium space. Stay here for three seconds, two seconds, three breaths, two breaths, you decide. We're here for two more breaths, you can do it. Feel that shaky leg building strength. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, slowly come out of it. And I want to let you know if you come out of it, if you fall off to the side, you go, <laughs> it's okay. We did it for two seconds. We did it for one second. Oh, congratulate yourself. Shake your legs out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chi energy. Chi energy. Good. Now the other side. Everybody's brave enough here to try it without the chair. This is wonderful. Left foot forward. Right foot back. Less times on this side because we have the movements. Bending the left knee. Coming up on the toes of the right foot. Lift the right foot. Let your body adjust and get used to it. 
bend a little bit more arm forward or arm back I've got the chair grabbing the chair I'm looking at my big toe for balance sometimes you'll find that you're more balanced on one side than the other and that's okay this teaches us to balance both sides and then slowly come up out of it going to do that for two more times we're just feeling that wonderful strength and our fabulous legs darling bending the left knee putting a little bit more weight on it taking her time about it the key is that focal point when you stare at it you know the movements you know you're gonna bend at the waist a little bit more lift up that back right leg bend at the waist a little bit more lift up that left right leg a little bit more bring the arms forward or the arms back tuck the chin in and again you've got your chair here for stability breathe in breathe out inhale exhale slowly come out of it coming down giving it a break doing that one more time but we just want to give our arm our leg a break our arms a break we want to get used to it yes but we want to, don't want to kill ourselves all right bending the right knee excuse me left knee coming up on the balls of the le left foot excuse me right foot slowly lift up the right foot bend at the waist and then when you're ready arms up legs up reaching reaching and if your arms are forward then bring the hands together and prayer pose and lock the thumbs into place breathe through it two more breaths if you come out of it come back into it you're doing a great job nice Janice that's it Osley Woo! reach exhale slowly come out of it Ooh. shake it out shake it out shake it out pat yourself on the back yes I did it I love it thank you so much ho, 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 ho. that is a very challenging pose King Dancer King Dancer is essentially one foot forward grabbing the other foot and lifting it up to a king dancer pose but we're going to do baby steps here the right foot is going to come forward the right knee is going to bend I've got my hand on the chair to balance a, myself out I'm going to just lift up and bend the left knee and bend at the waist I'm going to feel that my body bending because sometimes some of us can't reach that that left ankle and that's okay and then I'm slowly going to come up so we have the first couple of steps and it feels good we thought may let's let's see if we can go a little bit deeper bending that right knee bending that left knee I might grab my left ankle or I might just uh, have a challenge if it's in your body to uh, not grab that left ankle shoot that left leg back bend forward bring that left arm forward breathing in and you can bring that left knee down a little bit if it's too much of a stretch we're here for two breaths and then slowly exhale come out of it Ooh, nice job shake it shake it shake shake the hips that's it good energy again focal point is that key for keeping balance in the body for those of us who have the chair it's also nice to practice with that bend the right knee use feel the strength in your right leg first find the focal point to stare at and keep your eyes on that focal point lift up the back leg grab it or not when you shoot your leg out and your hand is on your ankle or your foot you feel that deeper quadricep stretch and when you have your left hand and your left foot then you have to use your right arms 
So YouTube, Facebook, if you're using a chair, challenge yourself and take your hand off that chair to lift up that right arm, lift up that leg. Feel the softness in your right knee, keeping it bent a little bit. If you have to bring your right hand down, do it. We're here for two more breaths. We wanna challenge ourselves a little bit more. Great job, Hosley, Janice. One more breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly come up and down out of it. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yay! <laughs> Great job, darlings. The other side. Left foot forward, bending the left knee, putting a little weight on that left side, feeling our bodies out, always finding that balancing point to stare at, keeping that balancing point, lifting up the right leg, bending forward, and this is just our baby portion first. Our left side's getting used to that. And then slowly come up. Teeter-totter. Putting the weight on again, lifting the leg up behind you, grabbing it or not. I'm going to show this side not grabbing it. So if I'm not going to grab my right leg, I'm going to really stretch it back and up and really stretch that right arm forward and hold the chair. Breathing in. And then slowly exhaling, holding it. Inhaling, and then exhaling, slowly coming out of it, because we're gonna do that one more time. We want our bodies to get used to that wonderful stable stance. Shaking that leg out. And when we do that, we're, thank you leg for what you're doing for me. Ooh, sexy legs, that's it. <laughs> left foot forward, left knee bend, putting weight on the left side. Coming on the toes of the right. Bringing that right leg back, bending that right knee, bending the waist forward. Bringing the right arm forward or left if we're on the opposite side. Holding it, feeling that stable stance. Then if we do have our hand on the chair, YouTube, Facebook, take it off. Place that hand behind the back. Feel your body balancing through the shakiness. Good. Two more breaths. Let's challenge ourselves. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up a little bit more with the arm and the leg. Oh my goodness, yes. And then exhale, slowly come out of it, straightening the body up. Oh. Get some nice pat in the butt cheeks. Nice energy going in there and thanking it for what it did for us. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Everybody loves tree pose, and that's the easiest one. Go, Athena, we should have started with that. That's so easy. We like starting challenging poses. <laughs> in tree is wonderful. Baby tree, stabilize the right leg, soft knees, or straighten out and hyperextend the leg. The left balls of the foot, left knee facing left side, left heel just above the ankle, slightly resting. Pressing the hip forward, getting that nice stretch in the groin, and then just holding our hands to the side. We've got our chair here. Stretching our sternum up towards the sky, rolling our shoulders back, feeling the shoulder blades come together, breathing in. Now breathe out, relax into this baby tree. Ooh, yes. Second variation, bringing that left foot on the inside of the right shin area. Now I have slipper yoga pants, so I have to really press my foot in there and stretch that left knee out. Janice is coming into a nice prayer pose, and this is a nice pose. Good. Nice, Savannah. Feel that nice, stable stance in your body. Now, some of us, if we don't have slipper yoga pants, 
third variation bend that knee a little bit so we're not doesn't get cranky grab your left ankle and press it really hard into the right thigh if we have simply yoga pants on if it's too much we have to hold that left ankle because sometimes it slips down and then bring up your arms to the sky you can bring both hands together you can bring it to the sternum in that prayer pose the yogi pose two hands above the head bringing them together oh good job Janice nice stare at your balancing point keep your eye on that press your hips forward a little bit feel that stretch in the groin come down with that leg if you got to and bring it back up we're here for two more breaths feeling that strength in our body our glutes and legs are really going to feel it tonight inhale reach up with the chest and then exhale slowly come down out of it oh that was good yes pat those legs pat those buns thank you thank you thank you legs and buns for what you did for me appreciate you so we know that we can have the chair here for that balance left foot forward left knee slightly bent right balls of the feet right heel slightly against the left side press the hips forward arms are down by the side feel your stable stance look at your focal point down at the ground or youtube facebook if you're indoors a corner of a picture is a good focal point to stare at just listen to the voice from now on so you hear and follow directions and keep that focal point you can come up to your full tree if you want to stay in it but we're going to do baby steps here right foot inside the left shin hands in prayer or hands above the head I'm going to keep my hands down here until I come up all the way for the third variation because I want to squeeze in both thighs for that nice stable stance breathe in good job nice and when you're ready grab that right ankle bring it up and press it into your left thigh inside thigh both hands up hands down to prayer pose you decide if you have your hands up above your head cross the thumbs over each other it really locks them into place and open those elbows up to get that extra stretch in the chest in the lungs breathe in Ooh, yes good breathe out relax the shoulders we're here for two more breaths which is a little bit challenging but you got your chair here if we get a little bit wobbly inhale exhale into it feel that oh i'm at one with my body in the balance good inhale and then exhale Ooh, we did it oh my gosh fabulous come out of it shake those pat those legs shake that booty pat the booty Ooh, that's nice now if we don't have a chair we're going to grab a chair because we're going to come into an inversion because we got our chairs out we might as well i teach this inversion because it is essential osley grab your chair babe because we're going to come down on the yoga blanket and this pillow can be used for two different things we can have it on top of the chair because some of us are taller than others and it really gives a nice squareness we want our butt as much to the chair as possible or if we'd like to have a little pillow underneath our head go ahead and do that or some of us like that nice seat on the sacrum right underneath us and actually that feels good so I think I'm going to leave it there take both the hands one hand is going to come over the heart one hand is going to come over your belly area close your fingers Janice feel the energy flow in your body as you're breathing in and out lifting your body up Osley 
and relaxing your body down, Savannah. You feel your shoulders ascending, your back relaxing. And in this meditative position, when you close your eyes, your body feels at peace. In inversions, your circulation, so those red and white blood cells are building strength inside of you. They're giving your heart a break, but they're also allowing the breath to flow on up to your brain to handle any solution in your life. So if there's challenges that you're going through, just breathe in deep with me. One, two, three. We're holding the breath here. That superconduction energy is swirling round and around in our brain. And when we exhale right here, three, two, one. Our back and our shoulders and our elbows hug the earth in zero gravity a little bit better. And anytime our spine is in zero gravity, you have this deeper connection to earth, even when you're in a floor in a studio. But it's nice to be outdoors on the earth on a blanket. It's like we're having a yoga picnic. Now tune in and tap on to the feeling of your body when you first started here. Think about how you were when you first started and you came to yoga class. We strengthened our body, but we also strengthened our mind. Did you take that extra deep breath? Oh, that felt wonderful, didn't it? Yes. Those nice, strong, deep breaths ground our senses. Swallow. Place the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw. Bring a creased smile to the face with the mouth closed. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out, relax. We just created a superconduction energy in our body through the quantum healing breath. We're going to do that breath again, only our focus is going to be on the energy in the center of our palms. And this energy is going to be the color of green. It's going to be a light green. And this green energy is about the size of a golf ball in the center of our palms. And the reason we have our fingers together over our heart and over our solar plex area, cupping our body, is because we want the energy to flow into our bodies and not dissipate out through our fingers. With that center focus, focus on the center of your palm so you're visualizing a green energy light. It's flowing round and round in your body clockwise in the center of your palms. You're breathing in with me and collectively, when we breathe in together, that tenfolds the power of our breaths in between each other. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hold the breath. Slowly exhale. 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 Press the belly button to spine. Lift up the urinary muscle, hold it, and breathe out the air again. 
Now relax the belly. Relax the hip area. And allow the energy of the green light to seep into your body. Green energy is our heart chakra energy. Chakras are energy wheels that go round and round. And allow your visualization of the green light power warm up your body. So there's a sensation behind your visualization. Did you feel that? Your body dropping and accepting, your body releasing whatever it needs to release and accepting the warm, loving, healing energy that's coming from your visualization, actualization. At any time, you can come back to this video over and over again to strengthen your body. This is a good strengthening video. And when you come down to this portion of the video, you're tuning in, you're tapping on to your healing energy vibration. Now you're going to repeat a mantra in your mind's eye. And it's a simple mantra. Repeat after me, I am the light. I am the light. The light I am. I am the light. The light I am. I am the light. The light I am. Breathing into that sensation. When you inhale, Imagine the heavens are opened up and a beam of light is coming down into your body and it's green in color into your palms. And when you exhale, absorb that sensation. And behind your visualization, you're bringing a power that's deeper. Hug your elbows to your body. So you're hugging yourself a little bit more. I want you to squeeze your arms to your body and hug yourself. Inhale, exhale, relax. That loving hug that you're giving yourself ignites the power of your energy inside of you. So you know how to heal yourself of worries, of doubts, of anything that's bothering you. Open up your energy, discover where the right direction to go in your journey in life. Breathing in, we're going to bring the knees into the chest. And if you have a pillow underneath your lower lumbar like I did, take it out and rock your knees from side to side. We're giving that nice stretch while squeezing the knees into our chest at the same time. Ooh, that feels good. Rolling over onto the side and coming up into a seated position real quickly. Oh, that was nice. We could stay there all night, right? I don't know if the alligator would like that though. <laughs> 
tuning in, tapping on once again, holding the hand on the heart, the hand on the belly area, the solar plex. Relaxing the elbows to the side, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. When you close your eyes, concentrate on those hips dropping and those knees dropping. Breathe in strong. And when you breathe out, think of the words that you said to yourself. I am the light, the light I am. Bring a smile to the face because you feel wonderful right now. Namaste.